all right awesome Ooh, look at this fancy form we have here with stars glowing and all that right nice UI anyway fuck it uh, sorry sorry about that so um, I have this nice fancy looking form right with really cool inputs and I can type in anything I want inside awesome right but I have a little problem that I'm trying to deal with right now and I would like to show it to you guys so let's say I have a little form right I have this form and I'm entering a bunch of details right uh, John Doe gmail.com and his number is who knows I don't know solely for and the message is uh, how are you doing doing right so I'm happy with the form it looks nice and everything and the user submits and ooh, would you look at that I have a fucking I have an error on the server really annoying anyway so the user comes back and I'm getting this complaint that any anytime they reload the page they have their data is gone oh my god where is it gone to why well, is it still in their head so they just, they just come back and enter it but they keep saying it's kind of annoying right they don't want to re-enter all this data back in again they just want to continue on and what keep trying till the thing is successful right so how do I help right, the users right in such a, a tedious case like this right and I stumbled onto something that the browser can help with that right it's called uh, local storage right so we can get the users for information here so before they submit uh, can just what store the information on the browser then if the form still fails when the, anytime the person reloads the page you can get back as what data already in the form and then keep trying to be successful right yeah so in order to do that we are going to jump into the code is uh, here we are so it's a react application uh, it's fully functional so we have a state here a use state for state management, you have a handle submit function to handle submitting of uh, the form and then what handle change, right? So, in the handle change, this one I'm just going to what uh, store every input that the user gives to the browser or to the machine right into what our state over here, right? And then we populate all that data in the form over here. Right, so this is react really simple so you have a bunch of javascript at the top and you have a bunch of gsx right yeah so in order to store the user's data right we are going to keep track of what all the changes in the state right yeah, keep in mind that the handle change function is the one that is what grabbing all the data the person enters and placing it directly into what the state Right. Uh, we don't really need to know the intricate details of what's going inside over the handle change all we know that it works right so in order to track this change of states we are going to use a little something in react called use effect right now in technical terms it's called a hook right so we have a use effect function right which takes in what two parameters the first one is a function and the second parameter is what an array and in react is called a dependency array so meaning that anything that we put we place into this array in this square box that we have here will be what uh, values that this whole use effect depends on so anytime something changes in what the function uh, in, in the array sorry it will automatically call this what function over here right awesome so we want to let use effect what listen or have a dependency of what the values right so anytime values changes we are going to what keep track of it right 
so we get have this function and we pass in what nothing this function doesn't take in anything right it's just an empty function right so now we have our values we want to what? store them into what the browser's local storage so we can access that using local storage then we call in what set item right then you can look at my right say expected two arguments but got zero right so the first argument is what the key right uh, which is what a string so i'm just going to say form right so it's a unique identifier which the browser can use to what store your data uh, what differently right yeah and in the second parameter you can see is what takes what in the value which is supposed to be what, a string but our values over here is what an object right so we can use what json dot stringify so json dot stringify is a function that's been provided by javascript which you can use to what stringify objects uh, arrays a whole lot of things right so we are just going to stringify what our values right awesome so we save that and we go back to the browser and check to see if anything has changed right so reload that and check uh john his email is john at gmail.com his number is 44 and the message is hello world awesome right so we submit that uh, still the error shoes i'm going to reload huh oh my phone nothing's happening where is the data yeah so the data is not in the form but if we check the browsers um, local storage so you can access this uh, what panel or the windows dev tools with what right click and then inspect or control shift i so we then head on to what application then we look for local storage oh here it is right so we have local storage then so this thing is the current what url we are in and there you can see that we have what our data in there right ah and yes so the data is being stored all right but you can see that all that we entered hasn't been what placed inside it right and this is where things get what a little bit tricky with what use effect right so let's go back to the code now the reason why we are having what none of our inputs in this the, uh, in here is because of what when the components were remounted right or when it reloads when you reload the page this form had what this was what the default values hence when this use effect was called it then got these default values and then what placed them back into what the what is local storage with what all these what empty values right so we can actually verify that so if i type in john again uh let's say let's add another one so john sorry john at the gmail.com right so if i come back and reload here right so i reload it and you can see that what email has now has what the value same as john right so the data is actually being stored but the moment we reload woohoo the data is gone so reload and the data is gone all because of this default values we have here right so in order to what trick the browser into or trick react into not changing this um our values we have over here we can what pass in here we can grab the data that's in what local storage or yeah the, the data that is already in local storage and then populate it with what the values that we have right 
and we can do that by let's pass in let's have a function right and we are going to say or uh, get form sorry form values nice right so we get form values and we have what local storage dot get item right so we can say what form that's the key right of the form so we can get those values and place them into what uh, let's say stored values so we have stored values all right awesome so with stored values we are going to check now if you hover over stored values it gives you what two options uh, it gives you the two uh, what let's say values in which store values can be in. it can be a string or now now meaning that there's nothing in there or it doesn't exist or a string means that something in there but it's what encoded to be what a string so we can do this right we can use the if statement so if there is no stored values right we want to what return sorry we want to return this so we grab that we paste that in there so return the default values but if there is something actually in the stored values you just want to what return json dot stringify the stored values awesome pretty nice okay now we need to pass in this function get form values into what you state right and get from values uh, and we keep getting all these red annoying errors simply because I'm using TypeScript right so TypeScript is complaining that the return value is not what it expects oh sorry uh, this shouldn't be stringified but rather pass because we are passing what the stringify what data yeah so that fixes that awesome right so now let's try this again so we save that let's reload the page hopefully nothing happens let's type in John go to the next input we have John at yahoo.com John has moved from Gmail to Yahoo and he has gotten uh, a new phone number nice and his message is uh, don't know what's going on right nice so we submit that when oh, errors keeps happening so reload the page oh beautiful now what the data is already in there so i can update it do whatever i want with it keep submitting the error keeps popping up so yeah so the user can clear the entire form or you know try again for a million times to what it becomes successful right so that's how we can make use of what local storage and store what the users what input to provide a better user experience for users that are dealing with forms uh, granted this is just a short form but mostly you can use this functionality for what, a very long form like forms that are over 100 inputs or fields for the user to enter like bank statements and all these kind of things right yeah so you can use that for that all right thanks guys see you guys later